Hey there, this is Kosho. I'm just going to show you a little something. Basically, we're going to go uh, click into your menu. Go down to forward programming. The helicopter has to be on in order to see this. Go to setup. Go to swashplate because that's what I'm setting up right now. We've got the helicopter on. Pitch gauge ready. Um, basically, we're going to go uh, here to AFR. Who knows what it stands for? It's not the band though because the band's AFI. Um, click on it. And then uh, we're, I want to adjust my collective. Also, we're going to check for that. Uh, I believe they call for 10 degrees of cyclic in the manual. So uh, first things first, let's make sure you're in hold mode. We are in the center stick here, center stick. You can come over here to your uh, helicopter. We're gonna zero the gauge. Gauge is now zero. Now we're over here. And uh, what you want to do is give it some throttle. And we're going to see we're at uh, 13 degrees here. So if I'm at 13 and I want to be more, um, this is my 550. 13 is actually good, but let's just click on it anyway. You'll see as I raise the number here, and we're way high now. We're at 58. So let's turn that down. 54. 13.5 is going to be fun to fly this helicopter. So about 52, it looks like. The default was 45. Um, and now, when we click on that, let's see. So we're going to go full negative now, okay? I know the video is a little shaky, but I'm trying to show you. So here's 13.1. 13.1, and uh, and then. Um, 13.6 so now there's a number here called differential click on it and the differential number here I'm changing it oh, there we go so as I go negative here the differential number here's my differential number we're at negative 8 we're trying to get this to 13.5 now we're just equalizing the mirror image, right? So there's 13.5, and my number here is negative three for the differential. So there's a simple solution on that. And then here's my cyclic. So when you check your cyclic, you're gonna be at center stick. And then you are going to, let's pitch, let's do aileron, it's easier to see. Um, basically here's my gauge so right now there's 10.1 and the other way is oops what's the other way 10.2 so at 75 we have what we need which is the 10 degrees that they call for in the 6250 manual but I just wanted to show you that this is something I'll fly on Sunday and uh, you'll be seeing the rest of this but um just wanted to show you a little bit on the 6250 so it's a fun gyro it's got everything you need you just have to kind of go through it and 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 see um but output setup would be like your sub trim and stuff so like well here's your frame rate on your servos and then if you just click on sub trim basically you can adjust all your servos um and always note that if uh, your elevator servo is in the rear, which where this pin is here, you're going to have servo number one, and then servo number two, and then servo number three. Uh, I call your passenger, this is passenger, passenger is number one, back seat's number two, and then your driver's side's number three. That would be how your servos go. And there's my 6250. A little upside down shot of it. There you go. So I'm using a 4651 and a remote receiver on the other side. Uh, anyway, that's a little bit on uh, if you wanted to adjust your swash plate um, levelness. That's how you do it. So we'll just go back 
and you'll see that there's the tail rotor set up. Everything's in there. Here's output set up. Here's advanced set up. Advanced settings, phasing, pre-composition. Uh, there's nothing in it uh, stock. This is the new 5.6 firmware that was just released. And there are some new features on it. So here you go. It's 5.6.50. Okay, and if you want to initialize safe, a lot of people ask me about it. Here's safe. Basically, click on stability, and then you can see if if the my hold my hold switch is on right now, but if I click out of hold, I'm in normal mode. Normal mode. Um, you'll see that my stability is off. Hold and mode. then hold on, and then like if I wanted to normal to have mode. the stability on, then you just click on on here now the stability is on and uh when i click hold out mode. hold is, the stability is off and when i click normal on mode. the stability is on for normal um we're not going to use it though i just it confuses me so that's if you want it in your rookie sauce here's your panic attitude trim trims for if it's a little out of trim in safe mode but uh, really self-explanatory, it's not hard, just look at it. So the helicopter has to be on in order to find forward programming. But uh, once you do that, you know, you'll want to get yourself a pitch gauge, like this Align pitch gauge. And that's about it, main screen here. There you go, Kosho, that's my NX-10. A little something about the 6250 today, thank you.